Hello, working on trying to figure out how to make this uh, series of scripts work to a situation that I care about. So I care about Lego bricks. I've been recently working on the BrickLink ADP project and I thought, well, it's kind of cool if we can take a photo or a video of bricks um, on a table, on a cloth, on background of some sort and be able to count them. I deliberately took some bad images, which I will share with you. And that's because, you know, I kind of want to see what the challenges are. We had issues of reflection and things like that. And I am still going through um, some problems. I, I added some uh, debugging info to try to see if we can um, see what values are being returned. I'll tell you, I'll share with you what, share with you what the script is currently doing. And then I will um, tell you what I think is happening. And um, I'll just show you these and we'll talk about these a little bit. And that's all I have for now. And I think after that, I'm going to take some better pictures. But for right now, we're using image L14, which is the last image. I'll show you what this is. There are a few changes that I've made to this script and I will probably get rid of some parts of it now that I finally am starting to understand what they're about. So here you can see that I've separated the bricks, which I think is very important for it to be able to distinguish unique shapes, right? Um, if they're all overlapping, then it's going to have trouble. Uh, here, they're overlapping, but that's okay. Uh, here, grayscale. I have taken the gray image and applied the edge function. And so here you can see what it's seeing. Uh, I believe there's a threshold that it uses for the amount of light and dark. And um, here in this area, there's a hot spot. Here, there's probably a hotspot of some sort here. Uh, you can see these are, I don't know what that is, something on the camera or something like that. And then of course these guys, they're so pretty, aren't they? Um, okay, so that's pretty much what gray image edged looks like. The same thing, gray image, and added the threshold of 255. So that is the threshold lets you see um, it takes things above a certain number and converts those to one color and takes things below a certain number and converts it to another. So um, we're going for uh, binary images now. So this is the edged image thresholded. So this is the gray image edged and this is the edged image thresholded. Because I'm trying to start to work on the different images because I'm realizing there's some sequence to this, right? Um, so here we see the thresholding. Okay. Right. Nothing too different in, because it's already black and white, right? Okay, here we have the gray image thresholded with a different threshold. So here we have Thresh 200, here we have Thresh 255. And we can see with Thresh 200, we're picking up um, the noise here and starting to see these things, which we had totally dropped on the first with Thresh 255, but we're starting to see all of these. So there's some pros, some cons. Obviously this image, the original image, is not the best one to start with, right? Which you hate to be able to have to say that you're going to um, find, make the image perfect because you want to be able to do things in a natural setting. I just don't know that with this example and these particular scenarios, I don't know how doable that is. So now it's trying to find the contours. 
So the contours of the shapes. I will tell you. See, look here. It outlined these, right? And it still said, I, oh, it said I found three objects. That's pretty cool. So it found this and it found this, right? But what about all these guys, you might say? Okay, well, that's why I printed out the um, results. And then here, eroded, dilated, output. Okay, which I haven't gone into very much. And then script ended. So these outputs here are the results of, they're, they're the position points for um, what they call counts, which is the count of the number of objects it's finding. So I'm not really sure exactly how this works. I just know that it's coming back from here as it uh, output, output here. Okay, I'm just finding it. And then here, I said it, it's going to draw the number of contours found in purple. But I said print text, I found however many objects, and then show me um, what values you found for it. And, and then go on, right? So, so that's what I'm doing, right? I'm showing all of those values and then we let the system process all the values. So, okay. Oh, so this is the, um, the looping around. Okay, anyway, we got three. We had one. They're not the ones we want, but still, it's progress, right? Bah, bah.